For today's video, I'm trying something entirely new for the channel. I'm taking a look at viewer submitted gameplay. Today's gameplay is submitted by the viewer trying to get good. Pretty convenient name for the analysis. It's a quick match slayer on Plaza. And instead of taking my typical performance style approach, it's going to be a more casual video. I'm going to run through the whole gameplay, give my perspective, insights on what I think went right and what went wrong. I'm not going to look at every little detail, but a lot of micro details on the engagements, a little macro as well. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get right into it. All right, let's see what we got here. Slayer on Plaza, quick match. He's on the blue side of the map. Let's see how he starts, if he has a good starting strat here. Sprint, jump, thrust slide on contact with the floor. Okay, that's a totally fine way to start this match here. He can go grab the sniper. Things I'm thinking about here are reticle placement, whether he's looking in the right places, using his reticle efficiently. This is unfortunate. Like, he... He missed an opportunity to get a kill here. There's a player on the door. He looked there for a second and then looked away. Should he have looked longer? Maybe. I think the bigger issue is kind of the fact that... So he's looking over here, over to glass, over to these areas. Nobody's here. At this point, I feel like that should tip you off and be like, okay, if nobody's on light rifle right now, where are they? They probably pushed through yard. They probably went cafe. Maybe I should be looking back over on cafe and try to get that angle. Instead, it looks like he hears this battle. This is something that you don't really have to attend to as well because two players are fighting this guy. By the time you get here, he's probably going to be dead, and it looks like he does get killed before he gets a chance to do anything about it. He'll push back over through Nest here. He meets a guy head-to-head, -head, like face on. He gets stuck immediately. That's kind of unfortunate. So what could have been done to fix this? Personally, there's a couple options he had that I think might have put him in a better position. So it's fine that he missed the battle. It's fine he doesn't get the kill, whatever. He still has a sniper. He still has an opportunity to, to do some damage here. Now he's walking forward. One thing I'd say is always be aware of that button in front of you because that's an easy jump up to S4. I think if he jumped up to S4 in this situation, even not knowing if the player was on nest, at least the moment that he figures out that the player is there, he's in a great spot to take that battle. Though the risk associated with this is that you're jumping up into a barrel and there's a barrel there you could die accidentally or somebody could throw a nade, whatever it is. So it's risky to go up there, but it would have put him in a better spot to start the battle so i think that's something to consider and think about it's not necessarily the foolproof like 100 percent guaranteed way to win in this situation one other thing i think that would have been huge is just reticle placement like you're walking forward look where the reticle is and i know this is theater mode and i know it might not be one-to-one -one accurate but this if this is actually where your reticle is i think this is wrong you should be looking down more diagonal because you know there's a ramp coming up and you're expecting a ramp to come up so if a player's on that ramp at least you're ready with the reaction so instead of kind of walking forward and then kind of having your reticle up here when you're, you're not ready to meet somebody think about the map the geometry in the map and where players are coming from you should already have your reticle pointed down as you make that turn so you're ready for this battle and you can back off from this guy if he tries to throw a sticky nade you're ready earlier as well so you can thrust out of there if you need to so end up giving the sniper giving up the sniper your teammate gets it and whatever we're not going to worry about what happens with this spawn up on tram this time let's see what happens always try to be aware of where your teammates are off of spawn it looks like your teammates are all kind of in a line here across cinema and nest i feel like sometimes expanding out would be a better option maybe going up to glass off of that spawn getting an angle from there jumping over to light rifle making your way to top mid where you've got better angles on the enemy team you might be able to help uh, from a different direction because now you're kind of just all kind of stacked looking the same like you shot your teammate there as well you did get the kill which is fine now you're moving to top mid um, it looks like there's a player there, but that's okay. They've got two more in nest. You're gonna move over to S4, shoot the barrel. I mean, now they know that you're there, but that's that's safe, I guess, in the future. Jane, dangerous thrust as well, because you're not under fire, you're not under pressure, but you still thrust revealed your position, and now you're walking out into the open, but that kill worked out. Nice nade. You got the kill, so I guess you're okay here. Uh, just staying alive in nest. I find it weird that, like, your team is all stacked in nest at this point. I feel like maybe I'd be on S4 trying to get a different angle. You can jump from the the, the little garden thing, the, the box there, up there, or you can do the button. you got a variety of ways to get to S4 and get a different angle, especially because you shot the barrel. And now, look, now that, now you're not up there, somebody's trying to flank you as well. Kind of a dangerous thrust. You have half shields here, but it works out, I think. Ended up working out. If you have half shields, I would still try to hold on to that thrust, be aware of where the player is, and then see if you can, you know, get that melee before you burn it right away. Staying alive here still, which is fine. Um, I would be, like, as you're pushing out, always have that, that reticle place, though, right? Like, so you're trying to stay alive. Here, let's see, you get the kill. Okay. Nice shots onto this player. You got one above you. You managed to escape him with the thrust. Okay, so you're trying to stay alive here. You're one shot. You're gonna, you're gonna get out this way. And there aren't any players when you go this direction. There aren't any players over here that happen to don't be there happen to not be any, but you don't know that for sure. So I feel like 
always kind of like your reticle isn't in an effective location here. You should be looking at, at light, like right over at light rifle, just in case somebody does want to challenge or just somewhere where you expect players might be and not just in like a, in that kind of blank space where you're not immediately ready for a battle. Okay, back up to top mid. Ended up being a pretty perfect nade onto that player. Uh, okay, I don't agree with the thrust forward. And like this is, I'm gonna nitpick every little thing, guys, and I hope that's okay. And you guys, let me know what you think. Um, even though you might live here, right? Because you're okay. So your objective, if you fall here, I feel like your best exit. I mean, unless you're gonna thrust out over to to hotel and maybe take that route, which is kind of dangerous as well. You could thrust backwards and do the jump up to top mid, and that's one of those crucial, especially because you're going back to top mid at this in this scenario. This is an opportunity for you to do that jump. You guys got to get good at that jump. You can go diagonal off and jump and clamber, like hold crouch and clamber up to top mid there, because then you just tried to take a fight and you turn and you unfortunately didn't get the best of that guy. You could have been above him and got first shots on him from above uh, in an area where you can stay alive way more easily. So you, you don't get that kill. You drop down, go to bottom mid. Now you have the plasma cast, whatever the heck this is, the, the, uh, the suppressor, <laughs> and you can jump up to top mid from here instead of stay down here kind of like a sitting duck because then this guy gets the best of you and you'll die so i say be really confident in that jump that's that was a good scenario to, to get up there with some high ground and, and just kind of get some awareness of where players are on the map okay you're back up to s4 again off of spawn here getting shot in the back three players on nest uh you kind of wait for a second that ends up being good that you waited because you get behind that player i don't know if you needed to thrust there i don't think you needed to thrust backwards but, yeah, you shouldn't have taken that fight. I don't think, and you guys let me know what you think about stuff like this, but I definitely don't think you should have taken that fight because you were already weak. Here, wait, where are you? Okay, so this is fine. You got the kill. You could. You don't even need to thrust. Thrusting is fine, though, but you could just back up, and you would still have your thrust in your back pocket. Uh, the bigger issue is this. So you, there's two players there. And you toss nades, the nades are fine, you did some damage, but the moment that these nades go out, you shouldn't be standing here anymore. You should be standing on the ramp. I feel like you should take this battle from a position where you have an easily available exit. Instead of do this, that is a big no-no, because you're down in shots. You, you know you're down in shots, too, against this guy. He might be a little bit weak, but you're almost one shot. You do still have your thrust, so you could have used that, but you didn't. I just think you shouldn't be strafing out here in the open where it's easy for him to get shots on you. You should be near the ramp, and you should be thinking about your exit. The exit that I would take if you're on that ramp, you don't even need to thrust from there as well. You could just back off and then jump out to the green sign on the other side. You know, you can jump to that green sign and then jump up to S4, or you can jump from the green sign over to top mid. That's a great way to wrap around over to top mid and get a new angle on these guys. Of course, that keeps you open to cafe, but even from there, you can drop down to bottom mid, something like that. But like instead, you kind of just go out too far. You take that battle that, that was kind of, you know, you were not in the favor there. You were down shots and you end up losing. So I think I would have taken that battle from the ramp, backed up and been closer to an exit. This is well, like your teammates are down and they didn't get any kills there. Like, these guys are still up on the map, and you kind of push forward without thinking of the fact that they might still have control of those crucial areas like S4. Like, okay, here you go down. Look at the kill feed. You're dead. Teammate's dead. All four of them are still up. But you're spawning going up lift and approaching as, it, as if they're, they don't have that kind of control there. So I feel like I would have stayed close to lift here. Always stay close to that exit so that if you are in trouble, you can thrust backwards and you get back down to lift because you're getting shot from S4 now and you thrust to the right into the wall. That thrust isn't going to save you. I think if you jump thrust backwards, you might have been able to get out of there. But in general, I would have stayed closer to the lift off of that spawn. Just knowing that you're down in slays and that the other team is up, you might have to back off really quickly. Um, okay, just narrowly missing that jump. That's fine. You're gonna go around here instead. Unfortunate, you had the opportunity there, but that's, uh, you know, just kind of being prepared and practice following through. Um, there's gonna be another little nitpicky thing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna nitpick every little thing, guys. <laughs> I'll say the stuff that's good as well. Um, but I do it only with the intention of giving good feedback for improvement. I don't think you needed to do that thrust. So basically, the only reason why I'm saying it is if, if you jump thrust there, now you don't have a thrust for running away anymore. So I guess you notice that there's enemies there. They have an overshield there. Instead, I would, I would have turned, sprinted, and then jump thrusted this direction so you can use the thrust with a lot of momentum out over to yard. But now you have to sprint the full way and you're taking a bunch of unnecessary damage and you're going down into driveway. You're still sprinting. I don't think you should still be sprinting that long. You should have stopped the moment you got around the wall. Um, 
or do like a slide jump out. So you carry the momentum into the jump, and then you give yourself more time for the shields to come back. Uh, and you probably should have kept wrapping around. Instead of taking that fight, you should have kept going up around uh, Light Rifle and stayed alive there. Um, okay, spawning up. Uh, nice shots. You got the kill. That works. You're gonna go to Cinema now. Okay, he's dead. Going up to top mid. This is unfortunate. You don't see him at all. I feel like, and it's hard, it's kind of like a, you know, it's just another nitpick thing. But you could have taken a quick look as you walk towards top mid here. Here, let's see. You could have peeked for a second, just kind of like peek the door. And then as you're walking, you wouldn't waste any time doing that. You might have seen him. Um, but that's okay. I mean, you didn't see him. You both melee trade. Definitely don't sprint. Definitely don't sprint at him there. I don't know how you won that fight. You shouldn't know. <laughs> you shouldn't have won that fight. But you got it. I mean, heck, heck yeah. Uh, I think like here, because he choked too. He could have three shot beat you down maybe, or you both. Th this is kind of what you want to be thinking. Like the moment you see him, instead of meleeing on reaction, try to think about three shot beating him down. You you could have because he's stuck in the clamber, so you have that reaction time to notice. Oh, he's clambering. So get those first shots on him. Try to get that first shot before he does. Right. So one, two, instead of just going for the beatdown, just try to get those shots so that you only need that one beatdown. And then in that scenario, instead of dropping out forward in front of him, I feel like I might have strafed out to the right. Uh, regardless, you got the kill, you made it work. Um, so that's fine. We're going to go to cafe now. And I guess you had players on your radar, so you know they're here as you walked by. Three shots, beatdown. That was perfect. That was totally fine. You got three shots, you got the beatdown. That was good. So that's fine. You can move over to yard, I guess. Okay. Teammates being an asshole. I'm not sure why. I wouldn't wait out in the door, though, and look at him. He might get shot, but that's okay. Um, I like that you haven't used your thrust yet. You're just shooting him. I don't think you needed a thrust there. Cause especially because this guy's shooting at you now, and now you don't have a thrust. Your easy available exit would be to jump out that way. You can jump out into uh, to driveway, and you could have used your thrust for that. But he's one shot, so you made a good work, like a good decision to you know switch to the pistol, finish off the one shot there. That's uh, so that's fine. Made your way up to S4. Now I've seen this. This is an unfortunate jump thrust forward. I think if you jumped like a millisecond later, you just kind of like walk out for a little bit longer so sprint out for just a little bit longer and then immediate jump thrust out of sprint you should be able to clear it like immediate jump thrust you should be able to clear that without having to clamber and then you can get the three shot beat down because the three shot beat down would have won you that fight you would have stopped him before he gets the os bad battle to take there by the way as well so okay so you you get this kill you kill that player or that guy gets killed you could have made it over but that's fine let's say you don't make it he gets the os just like this you're now down in bottom mid the moment you drop down in bottom mid i wouldn't stand here i would think like okay u-turn is probably the safest place you could go to you should start backing up to u-turn and remember that you can jump to top mid i'm telling you guys that jump to top mid off the van is huge if you're backed up to u-turn and you start taking that fight like you should not have thrusted forward first of all you burned your thrust too early Notice that he's shooting at you. Think, do I need to thrust here? Like, don't thrust right away. Kind of trust your strafe. Trust your ability to recognize, like, where the target is. Whip the reticle onto him and start landing those first couple shots. And save the thrust for the very last second. Because now you thrust it forward. There's no escaping this. You have no choice but to put the damage on, which is fine. Though, if you started by backing up into U-turn and readying yourself to escape with the jump up to van, then you could have gotten out of there and he would have just been stuck bottom mid. You could have given him the old dipsy doodle, you know, uh, and got out of that. But that's fine. You put some damage on. Um, spawning up again in yard, grab the plasmonade, good stuff. Okay. Inter like, I see you go for yard and then not make it, and now you're kind of. I feel like I. And it's kind of hard to know, like, what is happening at moments like this, but I'd say try to be aware uh, of the crucial areas the players are coming from when you're walking down driveway here instead of just kind of. Like, I feel like your reticle should be considering. You should be considering that big door when you come up here, and that players might be coming from that big door. Um, but you didn't, like, let's say you don't notice that, that's fine. Okay, these players go down. Like, this is a dangerous place to be, just be standing here. You know what I mean? To just stand here out in the open, because that's just free shots. It's, it's convenient that nobody shot you in the back. But 
if you are going to make the decision to go up these stairs, then I would say wrap around a light rifle, like climb up to, to light rifle and take a battle from there instead. Start firing shots from there because then at least you're near the easy exit out to glass if you need to go to glass. I would always try to put yourself in a position where you can take that easy glass exit. So instead of standing here and kind of waiting, because uh, you have two teammates here, you're all stacked up here, maybe take that wider angle out on the light rifle if you're going to go up here. Um, but we'll see how you make this play work out. Uh, okay, get some shots. Didn't need to reload there. That's okay, though. You managed to get a kill. Good stuff. I'm going to back off, saving your thrust. And that actually, that was pretty solid. That was actually pretty good. You backed out, you thrust it out to, to loop, and you're alive. So good use of the thrust there. Uh, good job staying alive. Good job not using your thrust there as well. Though I don't think you need to do that one afterwards. I think you just should have continued strafing. Went for a spring jump there, which is solid as well. Um, though the only thing I would say is, like, well, spring jumping is a great way to get up there. I think, like, of course, just over time, try to optimize it so you're doing it as fast as possible because then you can get back into that fight real quickly. Um, or maybe even just go for a stabilized jump, right? Because you kind of just spend, you spend all this time lining it up. You could just do a real quick, perfectly timed stabilized jump if you get that down. Uh, or maybe bank your head off the, the roof, go for a spring that way. Um, but regardless, you got up here, you're good. Okay. See, so you probably don't know the player's there, and that's why you're not really ready for it. I feel like even turning that corner, like, reticle placement in all of these, like, minute scenarios is so huge. You're approaching it like you seem to think that there's somebody there, uh, or he, you might have thought that he moved or left, but I don't feel like the way that you turn this corner, like, showcases that you're ready for the fight, because this is not good. This, this position of your reticle, as you come around this wall, you're going to get shot for free by this red guy, right? So I feel like you should already have your reticle turned and kind of angled upwards so you're ready to see him as early as possible. Maybe you don't know that he's there, but I still get in the habit of efficiently moving the reticle before you go around this wall so you don't have all this, like, extra time that you spend not being ready for anything. So you should have already started turning earlier, though I think you somehow embarrassed this guy completely so great thrust backwards just kind of he gets behind you but you jump thrust backwards his reaction and you manage to get the melee and make it work out so great work with what happened there though i think you could have been much more prepared for that battle and that could have been an easy three shot beat, beat down if you had your reticle placed uh in advance coming around that wall I think there are a lot of scenarios where you have an opportunity to expand out, like go through cafe and get an angle from the side, but you tend to go towards where your teammates are and meet your teammates in the exact same location that they're in, which is kind of not the greatest way to get good angles and to put in good damage. It just stacks you up with your teammates, um, which like can work out, and I mean does work out in some of these scenarios, though I think the name of the game at the highest level of play in Halo is to notice where your teammates are and to expand out in a different lane from where they are so you can help them from different angles on the map rather than stacking up and having the same angle so we'll see now you're approaching a battle on yard here i think you've walked too forward too far forward at this point Perfect and the thrust out to the right was a little bit too aggressive you got a, a trade which is good um and it's hard to always be thinking like okay am i near an exit am i in a spot where i you know it's safe to take this battle but i do think like the, when the moment you notice this guy is here your exits what are your options you could go light hall but light hall is kind of scary because it's one long corridor i think your easily available exit is to jump out to driveway if necessary save the jump thrust for the driveway so maybe stay in this location hide behind this uh fern or whatever that is um instead but you did get him one shot you decided to be aggressive because I, I assume that you thought he was the only player there and you did get a perfect to finish off uh and end off with a trade so it's okay that you got the trade i think it was a little a little bit too aggressive though with the use of the thrust um and you could have played it safe but regardless the trade is good um you're on nest now Work to help your teammates here. Okay, that ended up working out. Shoot the barrel, I guess. You got your nades back too on light rifle. People aren't paying attention to OS, and I'm not going to comment too much on OS timing and stuff like that, but always, you know, be aware of the time of OS and try to stay on top of it. I think that's a huge way to stay dominant in these games. Uh, now, I mean, you can kind of afford to just fly at people with this, so I think this is this is fine. Like, normally if you don't have OS, like, in a, in a bit here, you're gonna... 
All right, go for the kill. Good job grabbing combo, by the way. Always try to prioritize things like the plasma pistol when you have power-ups so that you can get nice, clean kills and so that people aren't going to counter the fact that you have OS. Now that you have plasma pistol, nobody's going to use a plasma pistol to knock it off of you. So, like, jump thrust forward here would be dangerous, but if you have some extra health, you can go get these kills and be a little bit more aggressive, so that's, that's fine. Push forward on this guy as well. Um, all right, put in the damage. That's all that matters here, which is good. Uh, okay. I mean, shooting barrels is fine. I, I just feel like there's a, it's a bit of a red flag to stand still for too long and try to line it up for too long. I wouldn't worry. Or, or maybe do it from, like, a safer location, like walk more into dip or something. Either way, you're getting these kills, you're pushing up, you're doing damage. All of this is good. All this is good money. Uh, you got killed here. I think... Okay, let me see this again real quick. You push up, get this kill. Gonna work on this guy. You're full shields right now. You start getting shot, you throw a nade, and you thrust. Don't thrust full shields. That's an early thrust. You didn't need to. When you start noticing somebody shooting at you and you have full shields like this, strafe backwards, ready your reticle, start putting in shots on him, and think about how you can use the thrust to escape this scenario if you need to. Because you thrusted backwards, now you don't have it to get away from this guy. I mean, you could try dropping down, and it looks like he managed to get a stick out. I still think saving that thrust would have given you an opportunity to make an outplay or a quick escape if you needed to. Um, but that's okay. You had a kill spree. Beautiful shots off the spot. Let's just start that off. Or let's just go back and uh, and take a look at what you did there. So you spawn up. Great spawn to just get an immediate angle on this guy. Um, there you go. The nice five. Take out that player. That was all solid. Conveniently, somebody's not playing. Take advantage. That's free money. We always take those. Um, 46. So looking like game over at this point. Uh, at this point, I, w I probably wouldn't even go through. I mean, yeah, cafe's fine. I probably would have gone up dip, maybe. But but you're staying alive and you're putting in damage. That's what matters here. Nice kill. Just being fed right now. Nice kill as well. 48 to 41. And this is, uh, this is looking like the end of it. Ooh, almost got stuck there. That thrust was okay, I guess. Immediate melee, that works. He got a blank melee or choked or something. You could try to do a three shot there. Um, but yeah, like this is a good double double beatdown scenario to, to end the game. So good stuff at the very end of the game. There are a lot of great kills to really swing things in your favor. And that covers just some of my initial thoughts on this viewer submitted gameplay from trying to get good. A couple things to keep in mind. Always think about reticle placement when you're walking around the map, especially when you're not in battles. Putting your reticle in the most effective location so you're ready for a fight the moment that it happens you can get that first shot on your opponents. Always try to save that thrust as long as you can. When you have full shields, when you have half shields, you shouldn't be burning that thrust early. You should be saving it to the end of the line when you absolutely need to use it so you can make a good outplay, you can make a good escape. Think about exit strategies and ways that you get out of situations and how you can strafe back to those locations so that you can use that thrust at the last second to stay alive. So saving your thrust can help you out so much. Think about whether or not you burned it early, whether or not it was the reason why you lost that battle. Try to take advantage of verticality in these maps as well, especially when it means taking a different lane from your teammates and not stacking up in the same location as your teammates. You can get a different angle on your opponents and verticality power positions are so important in this map. So jumping up to S4 when you have opportunities to jump up to S4 or take advantage of the jump from bottom mid to top mid and be very confident in that jump so you can escape enemies you can get an advantage or a vantage point onto enemies all of that is so helpful and of course make sure to let me know what you think of this analysis very casual different style than what we usually have and i'm not a pro at this game i'm constantly trying to learn constantly trying to improve if there's something i said in this analysis you think was incorrect or something that i missed let me know in the comments let's build out a broader discussion i think it's good for growing the community and everybody improving at the same time if you want your gameplay to be analyzed you want me to review your gameplay the best place to start is to dm me on twitter i've got my twitter linked in the description below feel free to give me a follow send me a message and we can get that conversation started unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be doing this for free it would be very difficult for me to do a bunch of long analysis like the analyses like these uh for free it just takes a lot of time and energy so let's discuss rates and something that would make it a win-win situation for everybody and we can just get the best uh, the best content the best feedback all right guys hopefully you enjoyed Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. Keep in touch with everything the moment it comes out. And join me, as usual, on twitch.tv slash the shy way. I am currently live streaming right now, so go click that link. I'll have it in the comments section.